This weekend, for the second year in a row, men and women of color will be honored for being game changers in the digital revolution. Joining us with all the details on the Color of Beauty Awards are the organization's co-founder, Delena Dixon, their social media director, Shade Shakur, and one of this year's honorees, Jordan Tespe. Welcome, ladies. Yes. All looking Thank gorgeous. You for Thank you. Yeah, this We're is the color of beauty right, right here. Beauty right here. <laughs> getting ready for the big day tomorrow. All right, well, tell us a little bit more about the organization and why you all decided to have this award. Yes, well, it is the second year of the Color of Beauty Awards. It was founded by Maureen Martin, who helps run Diva Gals Daily which is a life and style site for the multicultural woman. So basically what we want to do is honor brands and people who um, speak to people of color and really recognize the trendsetters who are dealing with brands that speak to multicultural men and women. So we're going to have this amazing award ceremony tomorrow. Um, black and Latinos, that we have a trillion dollars to spend on beauty products and style. So we want to recognize <laughs> the people that are, are speaking to the multicultural audience and also hopefully you know, encourage them to make great products for people of color. Mm -hmm. Right, and Sade, last year you were an attendee at the award show and this year you are actually involved. Why? Right. Well, recently um, I co-founded a startup called the Innovative Branding League, the Ivy League, with a few other college classmates. Um, so in recognizing really what the Color of Beauty Awards was about, we realized that it was in line with the kind of things that we want to support. There are just so many people of color um, in the fashion industry, entertainment, who aren't really recognized for everything that they contribute. So And behind the scenes especially, right? Right, definitely. So we really wanted to be a part of kind of like pushing that forward um, and exposing it to as many people as possible. Yeah, good. Okay. So Jordan, you're the first plus size model for CoverGirl, and now you're being honored by this organization. How does that feel to be honored for all the work you've done? Oh, it feels incredible. You know, um, I was modeling for 15 years, been a model for quite a long time. Wow. And yeah, and to be honored for some of the accomplishments that I've had along the way is fantastic. I'm very, very flattered to be here with them. Nice. And Delena, why did you decide to honor Jordan? Well, first of all, obviously, she's a trendsetter. Um, mm -hmm. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. <laughs> she she's is. speaking for the curvy size woman. I'm not going to even use plus size. I'm going to say that she's curvy, yeah. which we love because women of color come in all shapes and sizes from the smallest to the, the more curvy woman. So mm -hmm. she's actually receiving the Model of the Year Award tomorrow. Um, and Congratulations. Thank you so much. Have a nice presenter <laughs> present for her. And I think you'll be excited to hear what we're going to say about her. I'm not going to tell you now. Oh. <laughs> I want it to be a little <laughs> bit of a surprise. Yeah. I mean, with this term plus size, what, how do you feel about being called plus size? as I mean, a model? You know, I think um, when I started modeling, you know, the term was plus and that was the industry standard and that was what companies used to refer to models that were marketing products to a plus size market or a larger woman. Nowadays I think the trend has changed to curvy and you know really it's resonating with the public more. So if the women want to hear curvy and that's what resonates with them, yeah. then it's fine with me. And because... women want to be curvy now. Yeah, right. absolutely. Right. Well, exactly. Yeah. exactly. All right, well, who are some of the other honorees you guys will be honoring tonight besides our very own Sharon Carpenter? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very, yeah. very honored. Yes. We'll be honoring Stephen Inoja, Glenn oh. Brown, um, Along with that, we have Project um, Tribe. Yeah, Project Tribe. Is getting an award, and of a lot course, of Charlene stars, Dance. Really, Charlene Dance, who's the okay. uh, global director of Strength of Nature. So she is our Beauty Icon Award winner of the year. Um, so yeah, we have quite yeah. a few people. A lot of digital people. Our our theme this year is what's digital revolution. Yeah. We really wanted to recognize style and beauty trendsetters that speak through social media and technology because it's becoming such a different game changer mm -hmm. in people who are bringing style and beauty to the masses. Mm -hmm. So like Steven and Glenn, they're huge. They have huge Instagram accounts, huge mm -hmm. followers, yeah. and they're bringing style to not just black people, but all sorts of people. Mm -hmm. So those are a mm -hmm. lot of people we will be recognizing tomorrow. Now, it's also become a really credible way of like getting information out and connecting with people. So we really I'm want sure to it's highlight. a great networking event. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And definitely. that's why we brought these lovely kids in because yeah. they're <laughs> part of the millennial generation. They're in charge of all our social media. So definitely check out our hashtag tomorrow. Um, we have COB15 and CBA15. We actually have a day panel in the morning. 
um, where we'll have some panelists speak about beauty and how it's changed yeah. with technology, and also speaking about the new uh, entertainment digital frontier. Okay. So, Very and then we have an yeah. award ceremony in the evening. Where we're all going to be dressed up and having a cocktail. Yes. Very <laughs> nice. And last year you awarded Beverly Johnson. Yes. So that was a pretty big deal. She came out. Did that help a lot with get, bringing attention to the awards this year? I think so. I mean, it was pretty huge for us to have our first year. And we have Beverly Johnson, who was celebrating 40 years for her cover of Vogue, I believe. Wow. And so it was, you know, it was the black, first black um, supermodel <laughs> on the cover of the magazine. Um, and she was just fantastic and fabulous and still sends us tweets and, oh, I still remember my award from last year. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we hope to grow it even more next year. So yeah. who knows? Maybe you'll be winning an award next All year. All right, I'm ready. <laughs> Just let me know. I'm ready. My color of beauty. So, so Jordan, as a supermodel and, you know, all the work you're doing with the color of beauty and everything, what is the message you hope women will take away from beauty, from image, from style? Wow, well, I, I think that um, beauty really comes from within, and I really hope that, that women, um, through the work that we're doing with the Color of Beauty Awards, can begin to feel confident about who they are, you know, wherever they are in life, uh, whatever color they are, whatever size they are, and I think beauty really starts from within, and, and I hope that that's the message we we're able to put across out there. And what's next for you, uh, career-wise? Uh, are we going to see you in some magazines or on a, a catwalk sometime soon? Well, I've actually started a licensing company, and I'm partnering with brands and manufacturers to develop products specifically for uh, curvy women and for women of color. That's so, great. What kind yeah. of products? Um, clothing products, uh, beauty products, and things like that. So the things that are in the works, and we're looking to have intimate relationships with the brands and that woman. So that that's great. what I'm working on. Now, Shada, you also have a product here. Do you want to tell us about this? Yes, this is a beauty texturizer. Um, oh, strength of Nature. Yeah. yeah, by Strength of Nature. Um, mm -hmm. Charlene Dance is representing um, us at the Color Beauty Awards. She's being awarded. Um, she's a brand ambassador for Strength of Nature. Mm -hmm. um, that's just one of the many things that we're recognizing her for for this year, but really nice. wonderful product. And what does this do? Is a curl definer? It's a, yeah, it's a curl definer. curly definer. girls. Yeah. Ah. Like myself. The curly <laughs> okay, and one more time, one tell us about strange. the hashtag and where we can follow the organization. Um, so the hashtags for tomorrow are hashtag COB15 for our day panels, mm -hmm. uh, CBA, Color of Beauty Awards, 15 for our evening event. So we hope everybody gets on their Instagram and Twitter and checks out. We're going to be tweeting and Instagramming all night, yeah. right, during the event. You can see all the fabulous fashion. And who knows, maybe on Monday we'll be talking about it on the gossip table. So. I like that. Congratulations <laughs> on being And on the Rise 360, of course, again. <laughs> Congratulations on another season of the gossip table. We'll be watching you. Yes, Congratulations yes. to you all and for your award. Thank, Thank you, you so all so much. Congrats, ladies. Thank you. All right, and we'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360.